Hey guys, it's Rocky Top. Seems good to not hear the wind blasting. Man, it's been wild around here. One day we'll have 70 degrees and the next day there's black ice on the driveway. Pretty crazy. But anyway, I'm going to show these points, these kind of oddball points here. These are, I can't really put a top on them for sure, but they do have a lot of features that the wheel or recurvate would have. So we'll take a look at them. This is the one I found Sunday. I got out in the field. I just got back from Nashville and I was dying to get out and walk some. So that's what I did. But you can see that it's got a little funky base on it. It's a little bit, a little bit concave and it tapers down their ground. And that one doesn't really have the bevel on it, but it's got the median ridge on both sides. Made out of quartzite. Gold colored quartzite. Pretty neat piece. I found this one last spring. It's ground. It's got the crazy little base on it also. It's ground up to where these little shouldery things here. So it might have been a little bit longer. And they're made out of exotic material for around here. Of course, you're going to find the Knox County chirp, but usually it's the top of the line, real shiny stuff. That's cool. Found that one. I was talking with Elvis on the phone when I found that one. It's this one's got the bevel on it also. And just reading the description in Overstreet on the Wheeler Recurvates, these are right there with it. From the flaking, grinding, base features. They're just smaller points. I believe the material around here was mainly creek cobble. So they had to work with what they had. little piece there's that little small one of those it's actually fluted and ground they've always got that little almost like a Donahay tip on them broke one you can tell where it, the little corner was knocked off of it. It goes to that little tip. Those are neat. If anybody has any ideas on these things, please let me know. It drives me up the wall. Maybe they're a new type. And here's a, that little the silicified sandstone. This stuff is kind of rare around here I've got three or four points made out of it maybe but that dude's ground like crazy right there ground like crazy up to about right there and got a big chip out of it right there and of course it's missing the tip that thing's cool we'll get another point that's made out of it That one's made out of the silicified sandstone as well. That one came from behind the barn. Me and my father-in-law was digging some trenches to put the downspout pipes going, running them down towards the pond there. That guy was washed out. It's kind of crude, a little bit crude, but it's cool. I like it. Got this big guy right here. It's made out of silicified sandstone. Lance point. It's fluted. I found this one beside the driveway. I jumped out of my truck and there that thing was laying right there in the little six inch strip of dirt going between the gravel and the grass. pretty sweet had a torrential downpour and some tornado activity down the road 
So that may have washed it out. This is kind of a cool piece. Anyway, got here's another bull. That's an oddball little dude. That one came. I was running the rototiller in the garden. Got everything tilled up. Came a little rain shower that night, and that one was laying in one of the paths. Anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody watching, everybody commenting. I look forward to getting out to spring whenever it gets here, whenever I get some dirt to work with. I'm going insane. But anyway, I hope everybody else is getting to go do some treasure finding and hunting and whatever. But anyway, guys, appreciate every one of you, and good luck to everyone. Take it easy. See you guys.